In this video, we're going to continue our work with our arithmetic series and look at sigma notation. This is question 18 and we're asked to evaluate the following. So in A, we have the sum from n equals 1 to n is equal to 8 of 2n minus 3. So this is sigma notation and it's Greek for sum. If we just consider now the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2, we have 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, or we can use the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2, a plus l, where a is the first term and l is the last term. If we consider now question a, I'm going to collect the information in exactly the same form as we've been doing before. We have a the first term, n the number, d the difference, s the sum, and l the last term. So we're summing now from n equals 1 to n is equal to 8. If I now substitute n is equal to 1, 2 times 1 is going to give me 2, minus 3, that's going to give me a first term of negative 1. If we look at the number of terms, 1 to 8, well that's going to give me 8. If we look at the common difference, it's the multiple of n. So here it's going to be positive 2. That's the difference and we want the sum of the first 8 terms. So simply substituting in, we can say the sum of the first 8 terms is going to be 8 over 2, which is going to be 4. 2 lots of a, which is going to be negative 2. Plus n minus 1, which is going to be 7, multiplied by the common difference of 2. So we're going to get 4. That's going to give me now on here, that's 14. 14 minus 2 is 12. So we can see that will be 48. So all I'm doing again is collecting the information and simply substituting in. If you wanted, you could have found L. Now, if we substitute in here 8, we've got 2 times 8, which is 16, minus 3, 13. So you could have used now the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2. So again, we're going to have 4. Then we're going to have a, which is going to be negative 1, plus l, which is going to be 13. So we can see, again, 4 times by 12, and that gives us 48. So you can use either. If we look at the next one, collecting the information, a, n, d, s, and l. So we're looking at the sum now from n equals 1 to n is equal to 6 of 1 minus 3n. So if I substitute in n is equal to 1, we've got 1 minus 3. That's going to give me a first term of negative 2. If I now consider the number, well, 1 to 6 with no gaps, that's going to give me 6. If we consider the difference, each time this is going to be decreasing by 3, so it's going to be negative 3. And if I wanted, I could go ahead and put in the last term. The last term when n is 6 is going to be negative 18, so that's going to be 1 minus 18, which is going to be negative 17. And we're looking at the sum of the first six terms. So we can say the sum of the first six terms is going to be n, which is 6, 6 over 2, which is 3, 2 lots of a, which is negative 4, plus n minus 1, which is 5, multiplied by d, which is going to be negative 3. That's going to give me negative 4, and then we've got negative 15, which is negative 19. So that's going to be negative 57. Again, if you wanted to use the A plus L method, we can say the sum of the first six terms is N, which is 6 over 2, which is 3. We've got A, which is going to be now negative 2. And then we're going to have plus L, which is going to be now minus for 17. And we can see exactly the same result, negative 57. OK, let's look at the next one. So this one, the sum from n equals 1 to 10 of 5n plus 1. If we look, we have to be a bit careful with this one. A, N, D, S and L. If we consider now, n is starting at 3 this time. So substituting n is 3, 5 times 3 plus 1. Well, that gives me 16. If we consider now the number of terms, I'm going from n is 3 to 10. That's going to give me 8 terms. The difference is going to be 5. 
we're looking for the sum of the eight terms. And if we wanted, we could substitute in 10 to have 51 if we wish. So we can say the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Or we could have n over 2, a plus l. So let's use this one right here. The sum of the 8 terms will be 8 over 2, which is 4. 2 lots of a, which is going to be 32, plus n minus 1, which is going to be 7, multiplied now by the difference. So multiplied by the difference, which is going to be 5. So what's that going to give me? 4 lots of 32 plus 35, which will be 67. And that looks like that's going to give me 4 times 67, which is 268. You can, of course, use the n over 2 method, a plus l. That's going to give us 4. We've got a, which is 16, plus now l, which is going to be 51. So that's 4 times by 67, and exactly the same outcome. So check how many terms you've got, substitute in. And again, if, if you're not quite sure what the common difference is here and you can't spot that, just generate some terms. So if n is 1, that's going to give us negative 1. If n is going to be equal to 2, that's going to give me now 1. If n is equal to 3, that's going to give me 3. If n is equal to 4, that's going to give me 5. And we can see that this is going up by, one, uh, by 2 each time. If you look at this one, the first one is going to be negative 2. If we sub in 2, that's going to give me now negative 5. If we sub in 3, that's going to give me negative 8. And you can see now that the D is the difference is going to be negative 3. So there we go, sigma notation. We read it now as the sum from n equals 1 to n is equal to 8 of 2n minus 3. All we do is revert simply back to either one of these formulae, which we've seen before, and calculate the sum.